Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and today is Tuesday, November 13th, 2012, and this is the quick scan for today. Yesterday, we uh, had some things on our watch list, uh, Google, MasterCard, and Priceline. I got into all of them um, at various times during the day. Alerts uh, were set off, and I took a look at them. And they look good, so I jumped in. And they are all bull, uh, bull put credit spreads. But looking at what we have down here in the pre market is not going to be a good day probably for those particular trades. But tomorrow is another day, and I'm not going to really worry about it today unless we really, really tank. Um, and whether we're gonna, whether that's gonna happen or not, I don't know. About the only one that was on the watch list that I didn't get in was Panera, and let's take a look at their chart, and we can see why. I had the uh, alert set here just above the high of the previous day, and it was never triggered. But the uh, condition still exists for uh, an entry, at least on the daily chart. The weekly chart uh, looks a little, um, I guess you could say, questionable here because uh, the stochastic is hooking down. But the, then that's like a 50-50 thing. You know, if you get a real strong showing today, um, especially in a down market, it may be a good day to get in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slide this alert down here I slide it down just below the uh, high from uh, yesterday, and I have my confirmation that I need to confirm. That makes sense, doesn't it? So I'll go ahead and we'll replace that. Uh, Google, let's take a look and see what we did on Google. I did a, um, actually I did something uh, I did a 660 here, which was um, sort of at the money at that time. And what I do is I uh, go ahead and I go to this chart and I put my I'm putting my break-even price in here, or round it off to the dollar. So my break-even on this is around 664. Uh, last night in aftermarket trading, it stayed up a little bit. So that's where my break-even is, and this is the approximate time that uh, I place the trade and if I uh, right click on this and say show me the properties it was a, at 10 o'clock that I placed that trade and I, if I do it on this um, intraday chart it'll give me a time uh, box here where I can adjust the time and then I say um, I'm only, I only want this line to go until Friday around, uh, I change this value here to 1600, so that would be around 4 o'clock. MasterCard um, also got on in on this one. Let me uncheck this box here so that's not added to it. And we can go over here and see that our break even is 468, and I got into this one a little bit later in the day. And that was there at 2.32 that I entered that trade, or that it actually, um, uh, the order actually executed. And then Priceline, I did something different here. Uh, I did a 10-point spread. Um, and let me show you when I got in on this. Uh, did a 10-point spread here around uh, 1300 around one o'clock or so and we can actually if you want to um, at 137 and not looking too good right now is it I want to show you also this price here is the last price and it's not the closing price so after market Yesterday it dropped down to 625.11 or thereabouts. So this, oh, that, oh that's locked. Sorry. 
<laughs> Let me unlock that. So uh, this should be saying at six. That should be the last price. And there's no quote this morning. That's strange. Usually this is um, the last, and it, and it is after market trading. Hmm. Make a liar out of me. Oh, this is not good. We're sinking fast here in the pre-market. I don't see anything, any news out there that uh, indicates that things are looking bad. So, um, Panera is still on the watch list. I still have an alert out on it. And we'll take a look at what's left for us to look at on the A-plus list. We won't cover the indexes this morning. Apple, well, it's still going down. Um, Amazon, no play there. Uh, moving average is down. Stochastic is down. So there's no entry there. Baidu, moving average is down. Stochastic is down. No momentum, or at least maybe a momentum shift possibly up. Who knows? CF Industries, um, moving average is down pretty flat. Uh, a lot of indecision yesterday. Uh, gapped up but didn't move around too much. And everything is just uh, sort of down. We, remember, we want to look for this pullback here for an entry. Uh, Chipotle. Moving average is down, stochastic is down, nothing there. Salesforce, moving average is down to flat, stochastic is down, no entry there. You can see that we did have an entry here uh, when this hooked down, 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 and then here, this would have been the place to get in. I missed it. I apologize for that. Like I said, Sometimes I get occupied, but I'm setting the alerts now, and I think that that's going to help. Google, we're in. MasterCard, we're in. Priceline, Panera, and basically that's it. Only seven minutes. So I'm going to keep this one short today as sort of a gift if uh, you're kind of monitoring these um, each day, and I appreciate that. Also, I wanted to let you know that yesterday I exited my... Q insurance policy, but, you know, sometimes I'm a day late, probably could have made more money if I would, if I was getting out of it today, but I still made $125 roughly, so I'm happy with that. If you want to look at the results for 2012, the tab on my, on the top of my blog, um, you'll be able to see it in there if you really want to get into that kind of detail about it. Um, my friend up in Canada that I communicate with frequently, Don, uh, was able to harvest. He uh, has a farm, and he was able to harvest his soybeans. He was worried about it, and soybeans are up today, so I don't know if he's going to bring them to market or what he's going to do. Um, and he hedges his soybeans with uh, futures um, options and sometimes futures contracts. So it's been interesting learning from him how somebody really trades um, trades futures contracts on basically food to uh, hedge their harvest. It's been pretty interesting. So thanks, Don, for uh, teaching me, and I'm looking forward to learning a lot more. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and happy trading.